Mushrooms are one of my all-time favorite ingredients. I use chestnut mushrooms with the beef short ribs because I love their firm texture and nutty taste. But there's a huge range of other mushrooms that are great for slow cooked dishes. And when it comes to buying them, there's one expert greengrocer who's a fountain of knowledge, Borough Market's Fred Foster. Started off on uh, my dad's stall in Pimlico, really. He had a salad stall. With over 20 years of experience, he could actually write his own mushroom encyclopedia. Mushrooms, as soon as you pick them, the moisture starts coming out of them. So you need to buy them when they're fresh. Certain products you smell for flavour, and they tend to be fruits. Mushrooms don't smell nice at all. They smell kind of metallic, really. So you have to use your eyes as your guide of what you buy with mushrooms. It's really, really important. Wild mushrooms are literally grown wild in the forest. They're just quality wherever they are. This is morel mushroom. A fantastic product, so hard to find in the wild. It's almost got an apricot-y type of flavour. Earthy, woody, and of course, as you cook it, the flavour increases. For extra flavour and texture, highly prized morels are ideal when added to slow-cooked stews and casseroles, as are the Trompette de la Mort, which have a deliciously rich flavour. Another wild type to try is the chanterelle. Its subtle fruity flavour is delicious and perfect fried with butter, parsley and garlic. When you're dealing with wild mushrooms, you need to clean them. It can be quite a slow process. It's with a soft brush. Don't, don't use water. Never use water with mushrooms. It deteriorates the mushroom rapidly. Oyster mushrooms are very meaty mushroom. Just a lovely, silky, smooth flavour. Really nice. How do you tell uh, whether it's fresh? Those gills are bright. Never cut an oyster mushroom, always tear it. Look at the whiteness of that. Beautiful. That would be grey if it was old. Although also found wild, oyster mushrooms are more commonly cultivated along with a similar type, the enoki. Their delicate taste is great in salads and soups. Finally, Fred saved the best until last. And of course, the pinnacle is the truffle. They are really, really sought after. The smell is so intense. That smell, it's, it's hard to describe because it's such a unique smell. The more expensive the truffle, the more intense the smell. So that's why you use such a small amount on a dish. It's amazing the way they get these. They used to use pigs, of course. They don't do that anymore. They use dogs still because the pigs used to eat them all. This magical tasting fungi is by weight one of the most expensive foods in the world. It's phenomenal eaten raw, shaved over pastel or risottos, or a drizzle of truffle oil turns slow cooked stews into something out of this world. People are actually scared of mushrooms, aren't they? So it's, it's amazing, really. They shouldn't be, because take away the fear and just close your eyes and taste them. They're just amazing. They're, they are amazing. If you have fruit that's not perfectly ripe, the tip is to put a banana in a paper bag, then add your unripe fruit. Put it in a dark place, and the banana